Elsewhere in a fresh twist, the Kenya Airports Authority Board has disowned an agreement where it was to lease five buses to ferry passengers within the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. KAA Director Kevin Kihara Kariuki has told the National Assembly's Transport Committee that duty was not even paid for the buses in what was described as underhand deals. Take a look. The Kenya Airports Authority continued to punch holes into the KAA management's controversial procurement of five passenger transfer services buses, the apron bus services. Can the management on its own motion wake up without the approval of the board and go into this venture? KAA board chairman David Kimai was at pains to explain how the board was unaware of the management's acquisition of the apron buses. Was the K to purchase the apron passes and concession a third party to operate and maintain them? Kimayo told the National Assembly's Transport Committee that the KAA management under the sacked Lusimbogo as managing director outrightly disobeyed a directive to purchase the buses. It became apparent that these buses were not for KAA. Then we were shocked and we were surprised. Whose passes are we operating on? The board accused the top management, whose services have since been terminated, of colluding with relief and mission logistics to evade paying duty for the apron buses. I would like to astound the members this morning to tell you that the, the apron buses delivered to KA were actually smuggled into the country. No duty was paid on these particular buses. Under the deal, KAA was to pay relief and mission logistics 11 million Kenya shillings per month for services rendered with the five buses. The KAA board director, however, assured Kenyans that no money was lost. When they heard about the presidential directive, they decided to mutilate and tear the RTGS. Fortunately, we were able to recover this and I would like to table the mutilated RTGS instructions for $74,400 to relief and mission. The board explained that KAA has pending invoices worth 49 million shillings to relief and mission logistics. Only last week, the board sent home MD Lusimbogwa, as well as Finance General Manager John Thumbi and Acting Airport Engineer Christopher Rutere. The management was accused of being involved in underhand dealings to defraud Kenyans. The only person who is insured on that, those buses is a banker who is Kenya Commercial Bank. But we are the end users. So in case of anything happens, KA will still pay for the injuries of the passengers or whatever happens. According to the KAA board, the World Bank gave Kenya money to purchase passenger transfer services buses following the fire at JKIA in August 2013. Ben Kitili, KTN.